Yes, and breaking news this morning, the American music producer Quincy Jones has died aged 91 and we can't really understate how huge this is. Uh, Rachel Venables joins us on set. Um, he was one of the, the first black vice presidents of Mercury Records. He was behind Michael Jackson's biggest projects, including Thriller in the 80s. Um, this is going to be such a, a huge blow and the world will be reacting to this from the music world and beyond, Rachel. Oh, very much so. I mean, you can expect the tributes for Quincy Jones to pour in thick and fast and it will be some of the biggest names in music, in Hollywood, mm. uh, in politics as well, because he was also a social activist and, of course, dying, as we've just heard, at the age of 91. He spanned decades, mm. he shaped decades of American music and world music beyond, of course, and also film and television, you know, writing some incredibly moving, award-winning scores as well for some really defining projects there too. Uh, and an absolutely incredible life, which, yes, we just heard uh, Quincy Jones has died. There's a statement through that's been um, uh, shared, certainly by American media, from Jones's publicist, Arnold Robinson, saying that he died on Sunday night at his home in the Bel Air area of Los Angeles. They say he was surrounded by his family. And a statement says, tonight, with full but broken hearts, we must share the news of our father and brother Quincy Jones's passing. And although this is an incredible loss for our family, we celebrate the great life that he lived and we know there will never be another like him. And, of course, that great life, how incredible, what a legacy to leave behind. You talked about Michael Jackson mm. because he spanned so many decades. You know, he collaborated with Frank Sinatra as well. He worked with so moon. many yeah. hundreds of incredible artists. Born in Chicago in 1933, he grew up in Seattle, started making music, playing the trumpet <laughs> and singing in a gospel choir as well, aged mm -hmm. just 12 and then he grew into a career that just spanned countless titles from musician to composer to arranger, producer, entrepreneur, social activist, and one of the first, as you said already, black executives of a major record company. That too, shaping the people around him and the nation as well. Okay, Rachel, Rachel. thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, the legend uh, Quincy Jones has passed away.